angle of elevation and angle of depression. We have two illustrations here to explain this phenomena. We have um, this is acting as a horizontal, assuming that you are standing at this point. And if you're standing at this point, you are viewing an object up. It means that you have lifted your eyes up and you're viewing an object. So the angle between the, your line of sight and your horizontal, that is the angle of elevation. That is what we mean by angle of elevation. In other words, the angle of elevation is simply the angle that is above the horizontal line with which the line of sight will make with the horizontal. This is our line of sight, this is the horizontal, and that's the angle we are talking about. Likewise, if you're standing on top here, this is the horizontal, and this is on top of the cliff, or on top of a cliff, and you are staring down at something. Now, the angle between your horizontal and the line of sight, you know, we all know light travels in a straight line. So the line of sight to the object being viewed, this gap, this angle, is what we are calling angle of depression. So in other words, we can say that uh, the angle of depression is simply the angle that is below the horizontal with which the line of sight makes with the horizontal. So that's our angle of depression and our angle of elevation. Sometimes we use, we can get to know these angles of depression and angles of elevation by using trigonometry. And sometimes you can know these angles of depression or angles of elevation and we are required to find heights of different objects as we are going to see in some of the examples we are going to do. Looking at this example, from a point B, 100 meters from the root of a tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 49 degrees. Find the height of the tower. So we are having, let's draw a sketch. We're having a, a tower here. And from a point B, which is 100 meters from the root of the tower, this is the root of the tower. And they are telling us that this root of the tower, uh, 100 meters from the root of the tower is where point B is. So let's say this is point B is here. And this point B is 100 meters from the root of this tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 49 degrees. It means that if this is the top of the tower, the person who is seeing here is able to see the top of the tower at 49 degrees. I mean, that's the angle of elevation. So it means the angle of elevation from the horizontal to the line of sight is 49 degrees. Find the height of the tower. So we are required to find the height of the tower. For us to be able to get the, that height of the tower, we are going to use trigonometry. And if we use, going back to our so ka tower, if you look at this angle, this angle has got a line or a length that is adjacent to it. So we have adjacent and also we have the this line being opposite that. So we have also opposite. So we look for what we use here. And opposite and adjacent is here. We have opposite and adjacent. So we use tan. So to get that height, we know that the tangent or the tan of 49 is going to be equal to opposite, which is h, over uh, adjacent, which is 100. And so we make h the subject of the formula. h is going to be 100 times the tangent of 49. And when we compute that, we shall get our answer as 115 meters. The angle of depression from the top of a vertical cliff 50 meters high is 10 degrees. So we are having a cliff. And the angle, meaning that the, if we are talking about the angle of depression, it means that the person that is seeing is on top of the cliff. So the angle of depression from the top of the vertical cliff 50 meters high. So this thing is... The cliff is 50 meters high. And if the cliff is 50 meters high and the... This is our horizontal because the person seeing is at this level, at the top of the cliff. So the angle of depression is 10. The angle of depression from the top of the cliff is 10 to see whatever is here. So this is the angle we are talking about. The angle of depression is 10. Now they're asking us to find the distance of the boat 
from the root of the cliff. So the boat is here and this is the root of the cliff and they want us to find this distance. Call it x, the distance from the root of the cliff. Now, this is right angle triangle. So we're supposed to find this distance. We need to know this angle. We know that these are alternate angles because this horizontal is parallel to that horizontal. So if this is 10 degrees, this is also 10 degrees from our properties, from our angle properties. So it means that if this is 10 degrees, we have a height here. We have um, the value of x we are looking for, the distance. So if you are to use our soccer tower, if you look at this angle, this is 10 degrees. Now with 10 degrees, we are having this distance we are looking for, but this distance is adjacent. So we are having an adjacent distance. And then also, this distance here is opposite the 10 degrees, so we have opposite. So from here we look for what will suit, what is having both adjacent and opposite. And we come here, we have this, it's having opposite, it's also having adjacent. So we are going to use tan. So the tangent of 10, tan of 10 is going to be equal to the opposite, which is 50, over adjacent, which is x. So our value of x here is going to become... When we make x the subject of the formula here, it's going to become 50 over tan of 10. And definitely our value of x there is going to become 283.6 meters. And that is going to be the distance. Another question here, from a helicopter hovering at an altitude of 700 meters above the ground, which is the horizontal, so we are having the ground here which is our horizontal. So it is 700 meters above the ground. And the angle of depression of the object on the ground is 5 degrees. What horizontal distance will the pilot have to fly so that the helicopter is directly above the object? So let's assume the object is somewhere here. And now um, this person is hovering. The, 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 the plane is 700 meters above and uh, the helicopter can see this object at this is the level of the helicopter but it's able to see this object which is at this point at an angle of depression which is five degrees so the angle of depression here is five degrees what horizontal distance will the pilot have to fly so what horizontal distance will this guy have to fly from here so that the helicopter is directly above the object. So if the object is at this point, what horizontal distance will he have to fly so that the person, the helicopter is up there? So in other words, they are indirectly tra trying to tell us to find that distance because for him to travel from here to here, this horizontal distance is the same as the distance from here to there. So they are indirectly trying to get, tell us to find that value of x because that is the horizontal distance you move from here to there. So this being 5 degrees, the, 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 the angle of depression, using our alternating angles, if this is 5 degrees, this is also 5 degrees. So we have 5 degrees, we have the value of x here, we have 700 meters, this is adjacent, that is opposite that angle. So it means, it means that we are going to use tan. Tan of 5 is going to be equal to our opposite, which is 700 over adjacent which is x, the x we are looking for. So our value of x is going to be 700 over the tangent of 5. And when we work that out, we shall get our answer as 8001 meters. So this helicopter will have to travel 8001 meters to come and move on top there. There are a, a few numbers for you to try out. Can try out that number, and the second one is that one as well. Please remember to share this video on other video sharing platforms, and also to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you for watching. This is Arnold Rangakuramia for Kisembo Academy.